Hello, everyone, and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share a whiskey and have a great time. This is our angel haired hipster, Curtis. This is our Hoppy Honduran Eddie, and I'm Jamie, your host. Yeah. Today, we have a special bottle, Curtis, that you searched high and low for, correct? No, just found it. Just found it. Stumbled just upon. High and low, stumbled, stumbled upon. Picked up a rock, rock, and there it was. And then yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on! Now, this has already been shared with your friends. At Ben's. At Ben's. Yeah. Uh, me and Burn. And me and Burn. And several other people. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, because we okay. do like to share our whiskey. We do like to share our whiskey. Okay, this is Noah's Mill. Genuine bourbon whiskey, handmade in hills of Kentucky. Oh, boy. We're, we're this batch of bourbon was aged in wooden barrels until fully matured, bottled by hand at 57.15 alcohol content. Well, that's too high. I can't oh, have that much. Uh, wow. My mom says I can do the show as long as I don't have that high alcohol content. This, this might be the highest content We've ever had here. No, it's not. Six fifty-seven percent. I don't Maybe think we on the show, not personally. Yeah, oh, okay. on, the on the show, the show. Okay. on the show. Yeah, no smell is a bourbon of extraordinary, extraordinarily character and smoothness, <laughs> not found among young, younger whiskeys. Its superior taste and flavor characteristics are made possible only by using very finest quality ingredients. At the out at the outset, along of the long years and patience necessary for nature to be, to mellow everything to perfection, we bottle this bourbon at a strength that is <laughs> that best accommodates its age, and we're sure you'll enjoy it with enjoy it like no other bourbons. No, no, I'm not done. <laughs> You're not done. <laughs> Distilled an epic story. <laughs> Distilled in Kentucky, bottled by Noah's Mill Distillery Company. Bardstown, Nelson Co., Kentucky. So this is made in-house in Kentucky. Everything is made there. It is made in by house. the Willett family. That's oh, right. Okay. okay. And even though it has a very high alcohol content, Holy crap, I gonna... think you are going to really be surprised. We're all going to die. You're not going to die. You're really going to be surprised. Okay. You, you know, know what? You know what I regret? You know what I regret? What? I had to drive 70 miles to get this. Okay. I didn't buy two bottles. Oh, dang. Now, we should show them. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach for it, okay? Um, we have had Willet right here uh, on one of our previous shows. And actually, this is one of the best rides I've ever had. Um, it's a Willet straight rye whiskey. And we're, we're fans of bow. And we're, we're fans of bow. Rye here in this show, and this is one of the best, best rides I've ever had. And now we're gonna try a different product made by uh, the same family. This would be the uh, the normal Willet. Okay, this is the normal Willet. Still upside down. I don't know what's what is it. this? Uh, this is a Willet bourbon whiskey, forty-seven percent. Oh my gosh, this is fifty-five. This is their Willet uh, straight rye whiskey, uh, fifty-five point eight percent. So these guys, they don't mess around, man. They want to get down with you. Now, people who drink whiskey know about the Willet family. Mm. Now, uh, Pappy, Van Winkle, Buffalo Trace, mm -hmm. everybody seems to know about that now. Yes. And I almost hate to do a show about this because I'm afraid this is going to become as rare as Pappy. Because this, I hate to say this, but I really think this is as good as Pappy. Really? Yeah. This right here. Yeah. And it's, how long is it's this? It's different. It is completely different, but it is every bit as good. So is it? I mean, smell the wonderful sweetness, the delicate <laughs> nature. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> well, I just took a sip. That's why I'm smiling so big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And as hot as that is in the alcohol content, it doesn't burn, does it? No. Not really. Uh, there is some heat to it, but not um, yeah. overwhelming. To the nose, this is... Um, very nice. I mean, you can definitely smell that it's high content of alcohol. I'm going to tell you to do something, Curtis. Okay. I want you to save enough to do another show, and then I challenge anybody out there in the audience to bring in a bottle of Pappy, and we'll compare it. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that it is the same as Pappy. I'm not saying that. Nope. I'm saying that I think this is as good as Pappy. Okay. As good as Pappy 15. So you are putting it in the same range, in the same shelf? Yes, and it is not as expensive as Pappy 15. Okay. Have you okay. heard of it before? Yes, I have. And you've had it before? 
No, I've never had it before. Oh, okay. it, last time I saw it in Iowa was like 2014. Okay. And um, I've really been wanting to try it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got it. We got home that night, and Bern and I sat down, and we poured ourselves a dram, and it was like, wow, this is nice. I so, mean, uh, so it's, the... not, it's not pappy. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. It's not the same on the palate. It's not the same in the nose. It is not pappy. But the Wilt family's created a wonderful whiskey. This is just really a spectacular whiskey. <laughs> okay. So this is in this in this is in the, in the same top shelf as them as to say not the same but different but just as good. As far as I'm concerned, it is just as good as a Pappy Fifteen. Okay, because I'm smelling this, and I can afford this, and I can buy it. I can <laughs> yeah. go to the shelf and get it. It's not easily accessible in Iowa, but I can cross the river and I can get it in Illinois. We cross some rivers here, folks. Yes. Okay, but I think. I've said this just a couple of times. This is one of the best burns I've ever had. <laughs> I agree. I, um, I mean, I think, I think, I've I had, never I, agree I've with had, you on anything. I've had Pappy 10 with you here, or uh, Rip Van Winkle yeah. with you here. Um, I think it's fantastic stuff, and that's not because it's the name or whatever you want to say, but the, but the nose and to the flavor, it's got that twang, it's got that different, it's different than Rip Van Winkle. But it has that twang that is just so powerful, and then when it dissipates, it's gone. But it's really good. It's so complex. It's so strong, and it's just—I I, want to just say, I, I, not to be so misogynist, but this is a man's drink. Okay, here's the thing: as high as the alcohol content is, it doesn't burn. Mm -hmm. It sparkles. Mm -hmm. It sparkles. sparkles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it sparkles on the tongue. And you, you swallow it, and it's like you miss that intensity. It, it, it's like, okay, I want to take a, another sip because I want that back of my tongue. It yeah. is so good. But you know what? When it hits the back of your throat, it is powerful. Okay. But it doesn't burn. Okay, which is A lot which of people is, may not like this because it is really sweet. Yes. I mean, it is really one of the most sweetest bourbons I've ever had. <sighs> yeah, that is so crazy how something can be so sweet, and then when it hits the back of your throat, it just explodes. But yet, it's still yet so smooth. Um, I don't know what they're doing in Willet, and I don't know what they're doing at Rip Van Winkle's they people. They figured it out. They figured it out, and this is what I think is fantastic. Um, um, actually yeah, buys I mean, this stuff and gives it a chance because... I found another, another bottle of this. Thank God. I mean, I, I didn't think I would be able to get another bottle. So when that one's gone, we still have a backup. Well, that's great, Curtis. I, that, but I, you, that you found that? But I have. But, but I found something else here. I have an empty glass. So what does that mean? Well, the amazing thing is. It's amazing. We got something coming that's better. <laughs> Jeff Advance. Jeff Advance. He. I forgot about this. He got me a bottle of twelve, and this is a special bottle of Gulen Twelve that Burn got for me like. Four years ago. Well, let's see. 2014. Probably I think. two years. Two years? Okay. It says 2014 on it, okay? Mm -hmm. One of my favorite all times whiskeys. Oh, this it's is, the 2014. It's the 2014, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. This, so, so, what does that have to do with this, though? Nothing. Okay. What, what it has to do with this is he was able to get me another bottle. Oh, Vans was. Vans was able to get me Oh, excuse me. Okay, I see that connection. got me another bottle, okay? And I think he, he got a case, so if you go over there quick, you might be able to get one. This is one of my favorite whiskeys. This is the whiskey that I say to my son, if I'm dying, pour me a dram and get it to me before I'm dead. I discussed with Jeff, because um, he posted on a Facebook whiskey site um, that they had the Ladovlin 12. And I said, hey, I think my friend Curtis just bought that. And he said, yes, he did. And I said, well, I recommended to him. I said, make sure Advanced, you watch huh? our show. And subscribe and he said i'll check it out for sure and this is the time for you to hit that subscribe button but i'm very happy that you're doing this finally letting you guys have some i, I wouldn't let you have any i know you snuck some from melissa one no, day i have had a sip yeah you have had a sip <laughs> but i said i he when i got another sip. bottle ladies and gentlemen when i got another bottle i let you guys have some and this was 150 bucks and worth Every penny. Is that what you pay for the new bottle? Yeah. 
You're kidding me. No, this is worth every penny. This is on fixin' to die whiskey. Okay. And I think this bourbon is a fixin' to die whiskey. I could smell it. Oh it my here. gosh, dude. Seriously. Down here it was starting to come to me already. Yeah. This is this is Petey. Oh, this is Pete and smoke to the to the max. <sighs> I think I think I smelled William Wallace coming out of this. Okay, that did some weird things. Didn't it? Isn't then it it comes back. Oh. It hits you right back in the nose again. Yeah. And it, that was an experience. If that's all the more you ever got, that would be enough. Yeah. That little ten drops that just hit my tongue was enough that you'd ever need. Now, you guys didn't used to like smoking TV, and you're beginning to get it. But this one, even more. I mean, the 16 has won awards, like from 2005 to 2008, best whiskey uh, at San Francisco, gold, I mean gold, double gold. And then in 2000, I think, 15, double gold again. I mean, this is a spectacular whiskey. The 16 is a spectacular whiskey. Yeah, and we will definitely do a show on this again. This is just, uh, we're, we're kind of boosting up Vance. But the 12. Vance, because they, they've actually done this for us. Yeah, the 12 is just, to me, it is so much more intense, so much more flavor, so much more brilliance in the mouth. Yeah. And you swallow it, the nose. I can sit with a glass of this for hours mm -hmm. and just sniff, just hold it in my hands. I usually put it not in a, a, a Glenclaren glass, but in... A, a, a brandy snifter and just hold it and get it warm and smell it because it is just wonderful. Um, I tell you what, I go to grocery stores, liquor stores. I travel a lot. I go around all over the place. I see the goblin. I run right to it and look at it. Oh, it's eight. Eight you see all over the place. Mm. And sometimes you see 16. Yep. And you're like, oh, good. They got the 16. This place knows what they're doing. I've never seen a 12. Yeah, good luck. And it's so refined that you're like, you're able to just kind of decipher every single level. Okay. It and hits I, you I, differently. I, and I mean, I still feel it's it. It's an angled attack. Yeah. I mean, I still feel Petey coming out of my mouth. It's but, the mixed uh, martial artist of the whiskey. Oh world. my gosh, this guy, don't put him on the it's ring. It's got a He's ground game. Somebody. It's got a striking game. It's yeah. got the kicks. It's got it's everything. It's got the kicks. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the yes. only reason why you guys got a taste. The only reason is because I got another bottle. Oh, <laughs> well, well, thank God for that. Um, you know, my mom watches the show. Hi, mom. And uh, she always tells me that she had no idea there was this much about whiskey. She always thought it was just there might have been only a couple bottles of, of whiskey that was ever made. Like, mm -hmm. she didn't know that there was so much to choose from. We're just right here. We have a wonderful example of top-notch whiskeys that are all this is top -notch. different. Why don't we have your mother on the show? I can't say I'm sitting by her that long. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway uh, <laughs> she didn't know that it goes this deep. She didn't know that there was this much variety in whiskey. And I'm like, yeah, there, I, I'm, we're learning that as we go along. Mm -hmm. And I think that you and I, we started at the same base level. That it's just there's so much variety to choose from. And we can just keep going and going and going and going. But this, Curtis, you're killing me. That, that, oh, why isn't this more around more? Because there really isn't that much of a made. And with that burn, we got to remind all of our viewers at home to like, subscribe, share on our YouTube page, join our Facebook. We have we respond to the messages very quickly. Um, be part of the group. So with that burn, all for one, one, one for, for all. all. Yeah.